So, uh, so uh, today is Transfiguration Sunday, and on Transfiguration, we often immediately get caught up in God revealing Jesus' glory in a blinding flash of otherworldly light. And that is certainly extremely important. But in our scripture reading for today, just before Jesus goes up on the mountain and is transfigured in front of the disciples, just before this, Jesus tells the disciples, and Jesus tells you and me, something very important, something crucial to the gospel, something crucial to Jesus' message. Jesus says, if you want to become my followers, let them deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For those who want to save their life will lose it. And those who lose their life for my sake will find it. These words lead up to the transfiguration. You have certainly heard these words before. As we prepare to go into the church season of Lent, you may interpret these words of Jesus about denying yourself. You might interpret them as giving up something for Lent, like giving up chocolate or soft drinks or beer or music or meat or some other self-discipline. But that is not exactly the denying yourself that Jesus is talking about. Jesus is talking about looking beyond all of the worries and concerns of your daily life. Jesus is talking about mentally and spiritually stepping back from all the many details that construct you as a person. Stepping back from yourself and your agenda, and looking at the deeper template of eternity on which your life is constructed. Stepping back from all the things that you think are so important, and looking underneath and behind all of this temporary, transient reality. I know, I know it sounds crazy. It sounds like something out of a New Age magazine or something. I know, I know, but bear with me for a moment. I really do believe that this is at least part of what Jesus is talking about. And it's crucial to getting a glimpse of the reality of Jesus underneath the exterior that we usually just see. So, so, I'd like to do a brief exercise with you in order to give you a little tool for beginning to see beyond the self. So, so, just bear with me here. Uh, so, I'm going to ask you to sit in silence for two minutes. Two, two minutes, okay? Um, and during these two minutes, your mind is probably going to send up a hundred thoughts, anything from, this is a stupid thing to do. <laughs> yeah. Or, why is he wasting my time? Or, those kids are loud, which of course is okay. Or, I wonder what's for lunch. Or a hundred other things about you and your concerns for life. And that's okay. So, so you can... Uh, so, you can close your eyes or you can vaguely focus on some object in front of you. But if you could, just sit in silence or follow the pattern of your breathing and see what you see. Starting, starting, maybe, starting.
Okay, you can rejoin me now. Usually this exercise goes on for 5 or 10 minutes or, or 20 or 30 minutes for those who are more used to it. Christians have used this kind of silence and self-examination for centuries and centuries. We are only now rediscovering its spiritual power. Anyway, that kind of thing promotes self-awareness. During such times of quiet, you get to sort of see who you are. What are your worries? What are your thoughts? And what's interesting is, if you do this for a while, over time, you start to realize that those thoughts are, they're not always helpful. They can be judging of yourself or others. They can be condemning of yourself or others. And in reality, these thoughts and worries and concerns that bubble up are not necessarily you. They are the surface or the little you. There is a deeper you that is actually the one watching those thoughts flip through your head. That deeper you is where you get to touch or see the deeper reality of Jesus. Now it happens automatically too, but you can promote it in this way. That deeper self is where you really connect with the deeper reality of Jesus and see the true glory of Jesus. You see, Jesus can alter the realities of this world. Jesus can bring healing to you or your loved one. Jesus can calm the storms and waves of the world and of this life for you. But those are really just the surface things of life. Yes, everyone wants healing and, and an easier life. But all of these miracles are just pointing to the deeper reality of Jesus. Jesus is deeper, is a deeper reality than just taking care of our daily concerns. Jesus is the one. Jesus is the full presence of God in your life. Who can show you how to look beyond just our little self. Jesus can show you how to truly see and love yourself, your children, your parents, your name. Jesus can reveal to you the eternal realities of life. But you have to stop and look and listen. Today we have baptized Saint Anthony into the family of Jesus. And through this baptism, God has installed into Saint a holy operating system, a holy program, as it were. And that program that we call the Holy Spirit will continually connect Saint to the power and presence of God. Sade's life, just as your life, has become a functional, interactive part of God's kingdom. It may take Sade a few years to realize it, as it has taken most of us a few years to realize that his life and your life is holy and special. And now, it is eternal. Just watch and see what Jesus will do in Sade's life. And just watch and see what Jesus is doing in your life. And in the life of your children, grandchildren, and all the holy people here today. And in looking for that Jesus, and in seeing that Jesus, you will see the glory of God and the transfiguration of Jesus from just an idea 
into the glory of God in our midst. In the name of Christ.